It's not unusual for a popular game to really take hold amongst gamers, but it is unusual for a game to do it quite like Helldivers 2. The difference is this guy. Helldivers CEO, Johan Pilestead. Whenever a true gamer becomes the boss of a game company, expect good things to happen. But that's not so rare. What's so special about Pilestead? So Helldivers, as it is, is just a collection of things that I love about uh Pilestead is the CEO and game director of Arrowhead Games, the Swedish development team behind Helldivers. He founded Arrowhead in 2009 alongside five of his friends who all dropped out of Lulio University of Technology to start the studio. Helldivers 2 is the fifth game Pilestead has overseen as CEO and creative director. Arrowhead has produced Magicka, The Showdown Effect, Gauntlet, and most recently Helldivers 1 and 2. Pilestead has lived a life immersed in video games from a very young age. I'm, I'm the regular nerd. I mean, I, I grew up uh, playing a lot of uh, pen and paper role-playing games, played a lot of tabletop games, you know. He vividly remembers getting his first Nintendo console at age six and joining the Day of Defeat Half-Life mod team as a teenager. Arrowhead is all Pilestat has known professionally. He started as the lead designer of Magicka in 2008 after dropping out of university. As a Swede, Pilestat hails from the same country as another famed developer, none other than Marcus Notch Person. They both got their jump starts around the same time, with Person and his company Mojang releasing the smash hit Minecraft in 2009. From that point, their careers went very different ways. In 2014, Person announced via his personal website that he, quote, didn't have the connection to his fans that he thought he had and sold Mojang to Microsoft. Pilestet has continued down the indie route with an actual connection to his community, and he is standing behind that connection to this day. Rumours have been swirling that his studio has been acquired by Sony, but he has vehemently denied those rumours. Arrowhead spent 7 years, 11 months and 26 days making Helldivers 2, according to Pilestet. That is 8 long years devoted to a single game, which means the studio took a huge bet on themselves to build a popular sequel to the original. But even they didn't expect the amount of success the game has seen thus far. And success is putting it lightly. Helldivers 2 has experienced one of the best launches seen from a video game this decade. It has quickly formed a community that has fully embraced the culture of the game. Holy it's already 4 a.m. dude. I think I might just go to bed. That's exactly what the automatons want. Let's run it up, boys. I can sleep when freedom rings. Success didn't come easy, however. Shortly after the game launched, the servers were completely inundated and players could not get into a game. This led the studio to implement a player cap, allowing only 450,000 players to access the game at any one time. Being a CEO means that you get to celebrate all the successes of a game, but it also means taking accountability for all of the problems. In this, Pilestet takes an extremely straight down the line approach. Just look at his response to a gamer who said they were short of money, but wanted to buy the game during that time they were having problems. If you have no cash, get it later. While we made a really fun game, it's worth waiting until the servers can support the capacity. I mean, as a CEO, I of course want the game to be as profitable as possible. But if you spent your last money and got stuck in server queues, I'd be heartbroken. Yes, you heard that right. A CEO of a video game company told its users to wait to buy the game. This honesty has earned Pilestet the admiration of gamers. The CEO of Arrowhead Game Studios had this absolute W statement the other day. When a Twitter user posted this meme saying that Helldivers 2 is greater than Halo, Arrowhead CEO stepped in and had this to say. Why compare? Just let gamers love and enjoy both. Either or neither, we need more compassion and union in the world and less rivalry. One insight to the kind of person Pilestet has proven himself to be to the Helldivers 2 community since its release. Being transparent in this manner isn't an easy job. And it's unusual to see a person of this profile being so open with the community. The community should respect that, but there are some bad apples. And the way Pilestat treats these individuals is respectable in its own right. Arrowhead CEO's reply, Despite our best efforts to increase the server capacity to accommodate all of you who want to dive in for freedom, we are experiencing capacity issues, and we hope to have a fix in place as soon as possible. Thank you 
that wait screen stop tweeting and fix this and then the ceo replies yes good idea i will sit behind the engineers and ask them are we there yet or i could let the engineers work independently towards our common goal without me there ceo pestering them at every moment i wonder which one will work best it's cool when a ceo can deal with the trolls just as well as he can give praise to the supporters pilot's debt has become the bridge between the game and the community and this bridge has proven to be quite important for the company. Sales of the game in the US have increased each week since launch, a feat that is almost unheard of in the video game industry. Just scroll through Pilotstead's Twitter comments one time and you'll see that the community holds an incredible level of support for him and the game as a whole. He even brings his love for the game to his personal life, saying that he loves gaming with his wife in his free time, of which he hasn't had much recently. It's refreshing to see a person at the top of a company care so much about the community and the game itself. Johan Pilastet is an example for the rest of the industry.